Preston Physics Grade 11 Kinematics Note 11 Converting Between Graphs Example For the example that we're going to look at from our notes, we have an object that at time zero already has a velocity of 10 meters per second. We then have the acceleration time graph as shown in the diagram, where we have some acceleration at negative 2 meters per second at 5 seconds. So the graph starts out with zero acceleration, goes to negative 2 meters per second acceleration, then goes back to zero acceleration. It's important to note, again, that we already have a velocity of 10 meters per second when we start. So when we're making our velocity time graph, we need to make sure that we go up to at least 10 meters per second, as we only show deceleration in this section of the graph, so we know we aren't going to go any faster than that. So we make our velocity, we make our time, we show the important times, meaning the changes in acceleration. So from 0 to 5 seconds, we have constant velocity of 10 meters per second. Now, at 5 seconds, we start decelerating at 2 meters per second squared. So each second, we go down 2 meters per second, as shown with the dots on the diagram. We then continue on with no acceleration at the end. And because we have no acceleration, it's shown that we have a zero velocity. Now the motion dot diagram shows constant velocity, then deceleration, and then just another dot on top of our last dot showing that it's not moving. If we describe this graph, for the first five seconds, we have constant velocity of 10 meters per second. At the moment five seconds comes, we have a deceleration of two meters per second squared for the next five seconds. This causes us to be traveling at zero meters per second, and at 10 seconds, we come to a stop. There's no questions associated with this note in our yellow duotang. This is a good time to start reviewing all of the topics that we've covered so far in this unit. The next two notes are a very big section and you'll need your full concentration on them.